If you routinely need to compare an Excel worksheet to a written source, such as an accounting system report, or just want an audible confirmation of your data entry, you're going to find this feature really handy. 1340 1345 Letter March 16, 2016 Thomas Hopkins Andrew Capon Elise Henderson Shareholder Meeting Trade Secret 2945 All of the core Microsoft Office apps have the capability to convert text to speech. Speak this text, Microsoft Word. And in the case of Excel, there are multiple commands you can add to your quick access toolbar to get Excel to read the contents of your worksheet out loud, either from cells you've selected with your mouse or keyboard, or as you enter new data into your worksheet. To add these commands to your QAT, click the small downward facing arrow at the far right end of the QAT and choose More Commands. In Excel options under Choose Commands From, choose All Commands and look for the following commands. Speak Cells, Stop Speaking Cells, Speak Cells by Columns, listed under By, Speak Cells by Rows, listed under By, Speak Cells on Enter, listed under On. As you find each command, select it and click Add to add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. You can use the up and down arrows on the far right of the dialog box to rearrange the commands the way you want. Click OK to finish. To use Speak, select the range of cells you want Excel to read out loud, or if you want Excel to read the entire data set, click your cursor somewhere inside the data and allow it to select all cells. Decide whether you want Excel to read by row or by column. Two of the commands that are now on your QAT are speak by rows and speak by columns. These are what's known as toggle switches. So once you select one of them, that choice will be active until you choose the other. For this demonstration, I'm going to select speak by rows so the reader will move across from the beginning of a row to the end of that row, then move down to the next row. Once I click speak cells, Excel reads the contents of the first cell, then moves the cursor, which appears in white, from the first cell to the next cell, and reads each cell in succession until it reaches the end of the selected range of cells. 1340 1345 Letter March 16, 2016 Thomas Hopkins Andrew Capon Elise Henderson Shareholder Meeting Trade Secret 2945 I can stop the reading at any time by clicking Stop Speaking Cells. You can also use the Speak Cells on Enter to have Excel read cells to you as you press the Enter key. Before you use this option, you may want to reset the direction in which the cursor moves when you press Enter. Go to the File tab, Options, and under Advanced, use the drop-down under After Pressing Enter, Move Selection to the correct direction, down, right, up, or left. Click OK to return to your worksheet. Now, click the Speak Cells on Enter button to enable this feature. Excel will verbally confirm that this feature is turned on. Cells will now be spoken on Enter. Each time you enter data into a cell and press Enter, Excel will read the contents of that cell out loud. 134. To turn that feature off, click the Speak Cells on Enter button again. Excel will verbally confirm this feature has been turned off. Turned off Speak on Enter. What I've just demonstrated is one of many very cool tricks I've learned in Excel Plus's Excel Essentials for the Real World course. My readers at Legal Office Guru have been after me for years to develop an Excel course, but frankly, I could not do a better job than Leila Garani's done with her courses. Each course comes with practice exercises that allow you to click along with the instructor during the videos 
and quizzes and challenges to test your knowledge. I enjoyed the Essentials class so much, I've signed up for three more courses she teaches. For more information, follow this link or the link in the description below.